What's up guys, Derek Source Photo Porto. Uh, if you're not following the page, you should. There's a lot of good stuff for everybody here. For those of you who are following, I recently posted a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago, that I was headed out to do a hybrid wedding. What's a hybrid wedding? For those of you who don't know, it's basically just photos and video all in the same day. If you're wondering, is it possible or should you get into it? I would say yes, but here's a couple of takeaways from my day that I think would be some key advice here for somebody who's thinking about doing it. I would highly suggest keeping this in mind. This was a special wedding. It was, uh, they were renewing their vows. A couple who has been together already for 10 years. So it wasn't your typical wedding. They didn't want a full day. They didn't want the preparation shots where you go to the salon and get the ladies getting ready and then the girls getting ready, then head over to the grooms, get groomsmen and get all the those shots ready. For a video, it's really good to have the full story I find and then you get to like really overshoot you get to relax and you got a lot to work with uh, they didn't have that they didn't have a best man they didn't have bridesmaids and groomsmen they just had them and their children walking down the aisle uh, they didn't want any of that coverage they just wanted the ceremony and some of the party and that's what I went in there and did I would highly suggest going into a hybrid wedding that you have a full day that they want that preparation they want that getting ready they want all of those shots and that you want to be there for the full day and have a lot of time to overshoot and get shots that are like fillers that you could use here and there and like when you're doing a wedding video it's nice to have like a, like the whole story a whole arc a lot of time to ask other people questions sometimes when i'm doing a wedding video on a full day i ask questions I, to random people what do you think about the couple or, or i'll go to the father and i'll ask the father of the bride questions and you know catch this honesty in, in their voice and I'll use it in there somewhere with a voiceover over some nice images I've done that in the past and it's worked great for me this I didn't have any time for any of that so the video turned the video turned out great and the photos turned out great it's just I felt like I could have made it even better if I would have been there even longer it's exactly what they wanted the couple is super happy I've already delivered the photos and the video and they were very very happy so if you're thinking about going into it here's here's what i would also suggest i had another photographer come with me just for the ceremony itself i wanted to make sure that i had all those shots and uh, she did a great job and it worked out perfect all of this of course depends on the budget if they've got the budget i would hire a full team i would have another photographer there all day long i would have another person filming all day long and i would be filming and doing photos as well to make sure that we have so much coverage more is better than not enough what I did, being just me and another photographer, I also set up another camera on a tripod catching a different angle so that I can move around, press pause or you know whatever, and I could have that other angle while I was getting into a different position for a different angle on another shot. Also, don't try to go too crazy and get a million thousand shots and a million different angles. You wanna just get, you know, stay steady, get a certain angle, stay steady, get another angle, and you know, take your time with it. But at the same time, make sure that you get a little bit of everything. It's not easy. I'll tell you right now, weddings are not easy. When people say, oh my God, that much money for one day. I wish I was doing that. No, it's not. That's not true. You got your time there that day. You have the time before with meetings and driving out and going to see the places. And you got hours ahead of the job. Then you got hours on the day of the job. And then you got like a full week or two of work after a wedding. So if you really crunch down the numbers on a small budget wedding, you come out of there making $20 an hour. That's not what you really want. You want to aim a little bit higher and you want to, you know, keep your costs down so that you can make the max maximum amount of profit, obviously, right? That's just the way it works. So if you're going to do it, I would say it is very possible. Just there are certain things that you got to do right and certain things that you have to think about, like simple, simple, simple. If you're recording your sound directly into your camera with a lav mic or something like that, you can't hit pause. You hit pause, you're losing that sound. So you want to back up sound with different types of recorders. I had a, a microphone on that side camera on the tripod. So I had sound coming from there. I had a lav mic plugged directly to the groom into a recorder that was in his pocket, hidden. And that sound was coming from there. And next time around, I think what I'm going to do as well is have another recorder and put it right by the speaker that the DJ has set up and make sure that it doesn't peak first, ask him to do a little test sound of what it's going to sound like put another recorder over there. So I got just multiple sounds because sometimes with a lav mic, you might get that little this noise right here, which is horrible. Uh, wind, you know, sometimes get picked up. Uh, obviously you, you work that in the editing afterwards, but it's nice to get a nice clear sound or have different options to go to. 
more than not enough because you can get interference as well with the lav mics. I don't know if you've ever experienced or ever worked with a lav mic out there. Sometimes you can get interference. Sometimes I find uh, when you're recording in a home and you get close to the, the, the modem of, of your computer, of the Wi-Fi, it can make a doo -doo 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 little sound like that. Well, that'll just ruin it for you. You can't, you can't really fix that. It's, you know, you want to get a clean, nice sounding audio, you know, straight off the bat, right? So. Here's a, a, a couple of uh, shots from the wedding. Um, there were some nice pictures, a great couple. I had such a blast with them. Just so awesome. The kids were nice, they were nice. Just a nice venue. Everything was really, really, you know, visually awesome for video and for photos. Uh, wish I had, would have had even more time with them, but uh, I think it turned out great. They loved it, they cried, and you know, it's like, it's one of those things. It's like, you know, sorry, not sorry. I, my goal is to make you cry. If I'm making your wedding video, you do want to go in and, you know, get that little emotion side of things and, and get, you know, get the shots where they look like they're about to just break down. And uh, it makes for some, some great video. Sorry, guys. Uh, that's just, you know, that's the truth behind it. So uh, here's a couple of photos. Here's a couple of uh, uh, shots from the video. Um, I obviously I asked the couple first if I could if I could do this if I could show some of their shots in a little bit of a, this video here, and that's it. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. Thanks.